Hey folks, it's Ted Can 2 right here with the Miracle Mind Ship. I uh, want to say Happy New Year's. We're here in 2024. Brand new year, brand new adventures, brand new everything. I mean, it's going to be a really, really awesome year. So I want to thank you for joining us. Brand new season. And wow, I got a lot to share with you, actually. I uh, I did a little New Year celebration. Not much. Nothing to brag about. I had a, I had a couple of beers, really. And it was just like, you know, I'm stuck in the studio and it was like New Year's Eve. And I got to tell you, it was day 72. And I'm on day 74. I'm sorry, no, day 76 already. Um, and what happened was... I really notice a huge difference in my subconscious mind, my, my thinking. I actually had nightmares for the first time in uh, days, months, it was almost two months I've been doing this program. And I've never had a nightmare before, like it's, uh, as severe as this one. It was unbelievable how much that could really shake up your daily, you know, um, reprogramming routine to the point where it was actually pretty horrific. So before I go into that story, let me just kind of clarify some of the stuff that happened in my my, uh, my dreams that were that ties into my progress. Okay, so I, I told you about the dream sequence I had a couple days ago when I dreamt about um, Bigfoot came to my casino, right? Because he was seen on Leeton Road. And it's, it's a weird thing to have Bigfoot that can, you know, come into your dream. But here's the point, there was we got a brand new food court coming to my casino. Big stuff, right? Big changes. Uh, we get rid of our... We had a big buffet over there. It's all gone. We got like four new restaurants done. We got Guy Fieri. He's coming in. We've got a brand new sub shop, a brand new pizza place. This really cool looking burrito things coming in. And then we got a new pizza and salad uh, restaurant. Cool. Cool stuff coming in. But it's big stuff. And Bigfoot comes in the dream and he goes, hey, what about me? I want some of this good stuff too. And uh, I didn't really put two and two together, but abs it, it's, you think about it, big things are coming, Bigfoot's there, big changes. It does tie together. It's a little weird, but there we go. So I just want to mention that. But the other thing was that, um, so I had a few beers on New Year's uh, day and I had like, um, really really horrific nightmares it was really strange and it didn't have very much to do with my daily life now i'm going to explain this to you if you're just watching the show for the first time we're trying to reprogram our subconscious mind and trying to find significance from your daily life to your living waking state to your dream state there will be a correlation after a couple uh, months you'll actually be able to solve your own problems in your sleep from your day life. See, there goes my Kundalini again. I got a ringing on my my Kundalini uh, spot right here. That's where the soul resides. And the Kundalini, if you don't know, that's when all seven chakras kind of fire up in the same uh, pattern in your spine, on your crown, and reveals to you uh, absolute truth. And uh, when I hit upon a very relevant moment in truth, this goes off. Wow. Deep stuff? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so you're like a walking barometer of, of uh, you know, uh, truth. I mean, it's it's a really strange feeling to be that connected, but it's a really great thing to have. When you reprogram your subconscious mind and you're, you're firing on all cylinders at all time, it's just really, really great. So I'm going to keep it low on the graphics on this episode. I'm not going to show you a whole lot of pictures. I'm just going to talk you through a few things, and then I'm going to get uh, get to bed, actually. So it's been a long day for me. So um, here is the point I want to say. Where is this? Did I write this? Hold on. Um, yeah. So the thing about the the whole thing is that you want your actual mind, body, spirit to be aligned. And and really, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're if you're not going to drink uh, alcohol. Um, you know, THC products will do the same thing to you. CBD, uh, not maybe not so much, 
but uh, the THC stuff that, that's out there right now will give you rapid thoughts. And when you have rapid thoughts, it's really tough to, uh, it gets so, your, your brain just goes off on a wild tangent and it's very surreal. And it doesn't really reflect your daily activity. So I'm getting to the point where I really enjoy being able to solve my problems while I'm asleep and waking up brand new thoughts and brand new uh, points of action that I want to take because every day becomes very exciting and very unique. You're not stuck in a rut. And that's the really great thing about it is that you're able to really think about new types of environments, new types of clients, new types of uh, projects. Uh, your life won't be boring. I, I promise you that. <laughs> and it will make sense. And it'll be a very good life as long as you uh, continue to feed yourself good thoughts and stay above the line that we talked about. The line of negativity, jealousy, hate, guilt, self-condemnation, depression, uh, anxiety, and so forth is below. Anything that's above that, we go into like, um, oh, geez, uh, positive thoughts, spending time with your family, deep, meaningful conversations, which we call communion and showing empathy and also looking out for one another. Those types of things lead to favorable outcomes in peace and incredible uh, periods of calm and it, it really resistance of uh, the self. So you can do things like problem solving and some really great serendipitous moments of your life will start to emerge. So those are really, really cool things. And that's the things that we really like to live for. It's a, almost like an effortless manifestation of good things. Let's just leave it there and make it simple. And I think it's going to be, and that becomes a habit. You want that to become a habit. You don't want to backpedal. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm really looking at this in a deep level. And I like the fact that even my sleep makes sense. And the funny thing about that whole thing of when your brain starts to work in that area, is that you have a really great recall of books you've read, experiences that you've had in the past. You can <laughs> you can actually recall movies that you've seen in the past and even um, arguments with uh, people that you've met in the past. Uh, you got full recall of your brain, which is really interesting when you're sleeping. And it's almost like you have... Um, it's kind of like lucid dreaming in a sense that you are aware that you're dreaming sometimes, but more importantly, you got full access to your brain and your memory, your consciousness of what you've experienced. Why is that important when you dream? I think it's really interesting when you start to hit to that level, because at that point you can start to solve difficult problems, uh, in your daily life while you're asleep. Thomas Edison had that ability. Tesla, uh, I believe um, Henry Ford had that ability too, which is really, really cool. So you're in that league if you're doing that. and But it takes a while to get there. You have to really cut through all the crud. And it takes about, like I said, you know, two months, 60 days before that starts to emerge and become a reality for you. A lot of people never get there because they, they self-medicate with alcohol, drugs, prescription pills, hot, you know, drugs, recreational drugs, whatever, uh, that leads to rapid thoughts. And you got to slow your brain down really, 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 really slow with meditation so you can be um, almost like self-hypnotized. Remember that the earth moves at a 7 megahertz rotation really slow. When you go really slow, you get to download things from the subconscious. You're in the 1% world. The 99% reality is all probabilities of anything you want in the quantum field. And you want to download in, into you. 
you want to only download good things. <laughs> you don't want to download uh, anger and resentment and hatred and all this stuff. So listen to what I'm telling you. You need to slow your breathing down so you can download things from the outside quantum field or the upper world, if you will. That is called living in the gap. That is also known as be still and know that I am God. The God quality in the universe will come into you and start to clean things up like a like a cosmic uh, scrubbing with car wash <laughs> internally for the soul. These are the things that you need to do to uh, get to that level. So anyway, a little long-winded, not as bad as I usually am. But uh, I want to say Happy New Year's to all of you. Thank you for watching. And also, we have a course of the Miracle Mind Shift for the home version. There's extra videos. There's actually tutorials. There's how-to lessons. I will be showing you how to meditate properly and how to download your own new reality. If you want to overcome habits, if you want to get more healthy, if you want to lose weight, if you want to... Uh, Stop your anxiety, stop your worrying, fix your financial life, fix your family life, fix your relationships, or get a new job and get away from people that are harmful in some way to you. This is what you're looking for. I am Ted Cantu, ex-art director and spiritual coach coming to you 2024. It's going to be a beautiful year. You can always contact me at 248-277-6141. Also, email me at tedcantu at gmail.com and find me online at tedcantu.com. We got so much to do. It's exciting. And I'm just telling you, get ready because it's going to be a whole new ride. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you online.